Hi, my name is Dan, and uh, this video is one in a series of videos that I'm doing uh, uh, highlighting the different logic gates that are available in digital electronics. Uh, in order to under uh, understand this video, uh, you probably should have some understanding of Boolean logic and algebra. algebra. Also, you'll see, as you'll see, it's not hugely important for this particular one. Um, it might be helpful to understand the principle of logic gates. Um, and if you want a video on that, the first one in this playlist is uh, uh, exactly that uh, in this series. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about a thing called the buffer gate, uh, which is a curious gate in some ways and isn't often used um, because the output is the same as the input. It only has one input and one output, um, and it's the same. Uh, so effectively, it doesn't really do anything. So I guess the question is, why bother? Uh, so we'll have a quick look at it. Uh, here's the symbol for it. Um, uh, this uh, diamond that we've got with the input going in at the flat end and the output coming out at the pointy end. Um, and as you can see, input is exactly the same as output. And it hasn't even got a proper name in capital letters like all the rest of the, the, the gates have. Uh, uh, so why are we bothering to look at this? Well, firstly, for completeness, because the concept does exist, and I want to cover all the different gates, so uh, I need to. Uh, actually, there is later on, there's a thing called a tri-state buffer. I'm not going to try and explain that at this point at all. Uh, but if you follow through lots more of these videos, you should get to that eventually. Um, so, um, because it exists, um, but also it is actually useful for some practical electronic reasons. We don't need to necessarily consider it when we're thinking about formulating uh, uh, logic circuits. But occasionally, when people are actually putting these into practice, there will be reasons uh, to put them in. Um, in particular, there's a thing called latency, which is where the, uh, the output signal uh, lag slightly behind the input signal, and this can be useful in certain circumstances. Anyway, uh, basically, that's it. That's the buffer gate. Uh, but it's going to lead us on to the next one, which is the not gate uh, in the next video. Uh, so that's it from me for now.